Okay, so how do we how do we solve this problem? Uh, how do we how do we implement the Stefan Boltzmann law to um, to get to the temperature of the of the sun? Well, the the first the thing to realize the key physics in this problem is that um, this expression for the Stefan Boltzmann law is given in the power per unit area uh, of the source. So that's the power radiated per unit area of the source. Okay, so if we imagine that we have a uh, the sun and its surface, then the uh, the the area the uh, the the unit areas that we're talking about are the area is the area of the sun surface. Okay, and so we can on 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 one hand we can use the Stefan Boltzmann law basically to we can integrate the Stefan Boltzmann law basically over area. So we can find the total power radiated by the sun by uh, integrating the Stefan Boltzmann law over the total area of the sun, of the sun's surface. And at the same time, whatever total power is radiated by the sun um, is the same uh, total power which uh, is passes through a sphere of uh, uh, that's centered on the sun that can be much larger than the radius of the sun. Okay, And so in particular a sphere that basically uh, subtends the earth. Okay, So if we drew a, a big sphere here that is uh, the sphere that's centered on the sun and whose surface is uh, passes through the earth then the total power radiated um, by the sun would be equal to the power um, it passes through that sphere. Okay, and so the way that we <clears throat> the way that we would write that down would simply be that the that the total power is equal to um, four pi times the radius of the sun squared. That's the that's the surface of the sun. Okay, that's the surface area of the sun, the area of the sun's surface. Okay, and then we basically apply the Stefan Boltzmann's law um, to um, to indicate the uh, basically to take into account. So basically, we've what we've done is dP sun dA times um, the surface area of the sun, okay, and these areas cancel, and we get the the the, the total surface of the, the total power radiated by the sun. Now, at the same time, this is equal to, um, as I said, um, the total power that passes through this a sphere that has a radius d, which remember d is the sur is the um, Distance between the the sun and the earth. I should I should have pointed out earlier that this little symbol, the little circle with a dot in the middle, is a typical symbol used for the sun, and this little symbol here, um, which is a uh, uh, sort of a circle with kind of a cross, is the, a typical symbol used for the earth. Okay, so we have um, that four pi d squared times the uh, uh, the power per unit area uh, detected, or that passes, that that uh, is uh, that shines on the Earth, okay. Um, again, is equal to the total power uh, radiated by the sun. So if we just equate these two things and we cancel terms and whatever, then eventually we get to an expression that the temperature of the sun is equal to um, the uh, power per unit area uh, at the Earth's uh, at the Earth times uh, the distance between the Sun and the Earth squared divided by sigma um, times the radius of the Sun squared and this ends up being about 5700 degrees Kelvin.